All right, so we're back on the Cloud Native Computing Foundation website. And if you go to projects here, um, should be projects, there will be a thing that says Cloud Native Landscape. And that will open up this interactive landscape where we have all these uh, fun little boxes. And these are all different kinds of Cloud Native technology. So here you can see Kubernetes, it's right here. I can click to it. I can get uh, rich information about this project. Um, we can go to card mode here. And so this is a little bit easier to consume. We can go back to landscapes here, and uh, we can even filter it based on category. These filters should be working. I guess we have to choose based on the projects. We'll say CNCF projects. So these are projects by the CNCF, right? And so you kind of get the idea there. It's nothing super complicated, but there are um, some uh, landscapes within landscapes like the serverless landscape. So you go over here and that's one. This apparently is a landscape, the members, people that are partic uh, participating or um, uh, providing sponsorship. So, you know, we didn't show AWS as a logo um, in the Linux Foundation, but you can see these are all the people that are putting money into this and is utilizing cloud native technology. So there's a lot of people here. All right, so, you know, hopefully that gives you an idea. There's also this guide up here, if I just click guide, and we'll give it a moment to load. And so there is some kind of prescriptive stuff here that talks about like buzzword. This is so bizarre. They say buzzwords, infrastructure as a code, de de declarative configurations. Those aren't buzzwords. <laughs> so whoever wrote that, I don't know. But I mean, I guess they kind of define things like container registry, security compliance, key management. These are like um, uh, bare bones stuff around these categories to kind of help you understand base concepts. But uh, I'm not really worried about going through that with you. I don't think that's necessary, but I just wanted to show you the interactive landscape.